Thank you very much. That is wonderful to hear. I myself, I will tell you this about myself, I, uh, I'm good at math, uh, which can sometimes result in, in awkward situations. I was, uh, I was at the grocery store a little while ago, and I was just buying a couple of things. And uh, I bring them up to the counter. Uh, the total comes to uh, $7.90. And so I go to hand over a $10 bill, as you would, as is common to do. And then she was like, oh, 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 you don't have any change? And I was like, what? No, I don't have $7.90 in change. <laughs> and then she was like, no, I mean, do you have any change at all to make this easier? <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain to you how this is going to work. I'm handing you a $10 bill. You give me one toonie and one dime, and that's it, okay? <laughs> that's the easiest possible outcome in this scenario. There is no way to beat that. We are about to exchange three monies. <laughs> are, are you out of toonies? Because that's a real problem. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's relatable right there, huh? We can all identify. Sometimes we all run out of toonies. Now, here's the thing. If you're out of toonies, Try this trick. Two loonies right there, huh? That's, I worked that out math-wise right upstairs. I did that series of operations. Are, are you out of dimes? Give me two nickels, huh? Boom, right there. I did that one even faster. Are you out of toonies and loonies and nickels and dimes? Well, you know what? Maybe you're not ready to be a store just yet. This is ridiculous. I ran into a guy recently who super impressed me for about five seconds. And uh, this guy, I was talking with him very early on in the conversation, uh, he brings this fact to my attention. He says, I, actually, you know, I, uh, I speak over five languages. And I said, like, oh my God. And then I said, like, wait, over five? <laughs> what do you mean, six? <laughs> you having some trouble remembering how many languages you speak? <laughs> do you know how many numbers are over five? Almost all of them. <laughs> As it turns out, the guy spoke uh, five languages, Fluently, fluent in five, and then he's learning three other ones. Yes, yeah, so and guess what, dude? Your answer is five, okay? <laughs> you speak five languages, or say eight. If you want to impress me, boom, just go with eight. What, what's the downside there? What, do you think I'm gonna quiz you? <laughs> yeah. On eight languages? Like, how deep do you think I can go into Russian that I'm gonna trip you on? You can just make it up, whatever it is. Just make it up. Oh, oh you speak Russian, huh? Well, uh, how do you say good morning? Brzhnutsi. I guess so. What the hell do I know? I don't I don't speak Russian at all. Sounds, sounds like a kind of Russian word. Oh, hey, wait a second. What about, uh, what about happy birthday? Brzhnutsi. Oh, oh, it's the same word? Oh, I guess so, yeah, because Russian's a communist language, so they got to share all the words, huh? That makes sense, huh? Guys, those dumb commies didn't make enough words. Oh, my God. What, what a bunch of idiots. Oh, my God, we're way better. That's why they lost the Cold War. Not enough words. Oh, man. I, uh, I moved recently, which is the worst. Oh, man, I hate it. I, I don't care for, uh, for going through classified ads. And here's my problem with classified ads. There is no punishment for bullshit. Because you can put whatever you want. I got a three-bedroom apartment. Three bedrooms, you know? Then you show up there, it's a car. <laughs> you got the two bedrooms there in the front, you know? Then you got the master in the back. You can really lay down and stretch out and get a good night's sleep right there. I was looking at one place, it was, uh, it was advertised in a paper as 300 square feet, and that's not huge. That's not a real big apartment. I'm not trying to show off with stories of a 300 square foot apartment, but I figure out uh, how big a place do I even need, really? You know, what, what am I? I'm like 12 square feet, please. I would have plenty of room to move around. In 300, I could lie flat on the ground and still have 288 square feet to roll around in. You know? yeah. yeah! You get dusty, but it's fun, man. That's a good time right there. And uh, so I go check this place out. It's not even close to 300. Like, I pull out a tape measure. It is one room, 10 by 12. 120 square feet of apartment? Let, let me tell you something. If you are talking about a 5,000 square foot house, you can miss by 180 square feet, all right? <laughs> that's not a real big deal, okay? Yeah. 4820, 5,000, that's the same size place as far as I'm concerned. I'm, I'm not even gonna bother measuring that, man. I'll get my butler to do it. I can afford 5,000 square feet. 
Okay, so 5,000 square feet, you got some leeway. You know, you got some, some give and take right there. Uh, I got some bad news for you, though. If you're starting with 300 square feet, you ain't got 180 to give away anymore, right? That, that is not an option available to you. It is, it is less than half of what you said it was. I mean, put that into your brains. Less than half of the advertised size. Like, it would have been more accurate if you told me the place didn't exist at all. <laughs> that should be your ad right there. You know, I, I do not have an apartment. <laughs> Thousand bucks a month, come on down, check it out. <laughs> then you get there, holy shit, this place is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> you guys have been lovely, thank you very much.